Hi guys, it's Sebastian with Looking, Feeling, Smelling Great. I'm back with another video for you today. Today we're going to review Dunhill's Icon in this bottle right here. Please stay tuned. So Dunhill is a brand that I don't know much about. I wore some of their fragrances early on in my fragrance uh, journey. Probably going back to the late 90s, early 2000s. I haven't gotten a, a Dunhill fragrance for some time now, and I was not really particularly interested in sampling this one, but I was at Neiman's recently and I was told this is a, a new release, and I knew about it. It has been out probably since the early 2015, and um, so finally Neiman started carrying it a, a month or so ago, and I got my nose on it, and it's at that point that I was blown away by the fragrance that I decided to pick up a bottle. So Dunhill's Icon fragrance was launched early 2015. It's considered a woody aromatic and the nose behind it is Carlos Benayim and it's an EDP concentration. It's sold as 100 ml for $130 and a 50 ml for $90 but you can pick it up at discounters for probably under 90 for 100 ml. This one cost me about 60 so there's deals to be found and I would look for it. In the top notes we've got neroli, bergamot, black pepper, pettigrain. The mid notes you've got lavender, black pepper, cardamom, sage, juniper berries. In the base you've got vetiver, oud, leather, oak moss, and iris. So I'm absolutely in love with this fragrance. Being from the Middle East in the Mediterranean region uh, to be exact, you get to love the note of lemon. Lemons and citrus is pretty big in our culture and this is one big citrusy bomb. I would, I would actually say it's, it's not too lemony but there's a tartness in this fragrance and it comes from that pedigree and bergamot most likely. And you've got that big dominant neroli note in this and it, it, together with the black pepper and that slight leatheriness and the dry down is what makes this fragrance one unique beautiful fragrance. Now there was a niche brand that I used to love some time ago that had a fragrance that's very similar to this although the other was more about the citruses not so much about the black pepper and then I also want to mention the cardamom. The cardamom adds an extra layer of spiciness to this fragrance. That's what makes this one more unique than that other fragrance. Uh, I believe it was called Uden New York. Uden New York was quite expensive compared to this and uh, I got a bit burnt out on that one because it just was just too sharp and tart even though I love the tart fragrances. This one's kind of balanced with that uh, spiciness which I quite like. So you pretty much get Uden New York but you get that spiciness with this too, the, the, uh, the black pepper and cardamom. The dry down is really, really heavenly. It's really woodsy, as I said, leathery from the leather note, of course, and, and that iris note also uh, in the base. Um, longevity wise and performance wise with this fragrance, even though it's an EDP, you're not gonna get a fragrance that's gonna take you to the next day because it's mostly citrus and woods. Um, I got pretty decent performance for the, with this one. I would say it's it's pushing seven hours. I would be more confident saying it's about a six, six and a half hour lasting fragrance, but definitely pushes seven hours because it's got a little bit of a legs uh, in this one. And that's what I like about this citrus fragrance because the performance is really, really nice. Most of the time citrus fragrances do not last and most of the time they're also eau de toilettes, but this one's an eau de parfum. So you've got a little more concentration, a little more legs and a little more nicer performance. And best thing of all, this bottle is just beautiful. It's like, like a microphone and it's very heavy and you can hold it. It's, you know, you're going to be like singing or something, but you know, it's, it's called Icon. So basically kind of playing off the celebrity culture and things like that. So Dunhill is right here. The cap comes off. It's pretty heavy and it's all kind of very metallic looking and it's got, you know, detailed writing here. And the sprayer actually sprays really really nice and in the bottom here it's all glass so basically the metallic part is covering the glass part but the bottom is still glass and that's what I like about it. The packaging the box like this and then inside it's all black it's very nicely fitting in here a little more attention to detail in the packaging inside. The ball is here 
and winter um, is just around the corner. So Dunhill probably will be used in our Indian summers here in San Francisco mostly, but probably I'll put this one away and then pull it back in the spring because this fragrance I would think is perfectly suited for spring, summer, and fall wear. The warmer the, the better I think. The fact that you've got the EDP, that performance actually is really really nice. This one will be a perfect fragrance that you can reuse over and over again in, in, in the spring and summer months and just be pleasantly happy with it. Now I think you must be into a little more tart fragrances. People that like things like Anique Tal's Ud Adrien, those kind of things, more tart citruses and lemons and things like that, are really, really going to love this stuff. And displaying a bottle like this next to your other bottles I think is going to be really fun too. It's just a really, I think it's one of the best bottles I've ever owned in fragrances for quite some time now. Especially from a designer because designers tend to make kind of more generic bottles, but this one's quite lovely. I absolutely love this bottle. The other thing is, I recently found out that there's a flanker coming out to this one, and I can't remember, I think it's called Icon Absolute or Icon Intense. I don't find much info on it online yet. I have received an email uh, of a news story, but unfortunately I can't find it, and, and it's not on Fragrantica yet. But the bottle, the gold, it's gonna be gold now. It's this one's silver, but the new one's gold. So I'm anxious to try that one too, because I'm so in love with this one that uh, you know, when you're in love with something, you kind of want to explore more from it and see what else they've done to a scent that you really like. And that's kind of how I am with flankers and things like that. So check that out, check Dunhill's icon, and I'll have more information about the uh, flanker that's supposed to be released sometime soon. So guys, what are your thoughts about Dunhill's icon fragrance? Have you heard much about it? I don't think it's getting a lot of attention or hype, and um, but I'm glad I, I discovered it and I'm really blown away by the scent and really loving it. So do check it out. Uh, Neiman Marcus has it. That's where I saw it first. Go sniff it and if you don't want to pay their suggested retail price of 130, search online or find a sample from somewhere and you know check it out. I think it's really, really high, highly recommended for me. I really, really do love this release from uh, Dunhill. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please uh, leave your comments and uh, questions below. Like this video, share it. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.